how has she been able to garner over 3 million followers on social media, or possibly more, maybe 4 million? 4 million followers. I mean, that is phenomenal. Phenomenal. So, um, if you just tell us what it takes to become a brand and to be able to connect with so many Nigerians on a daily basis. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. It's not been really easy, but you just have to do what you have to do. Number one, I would say hard work. I know a lot of people here expecting me to say pray and fine, I pray, but even the Bible says walk and pray. You understand? So you have to walk. I walk. I walk a lot. And um, there's something about me, I I do not let negativity get at me. I'm, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I have a lot of people. You know, they say sometimes when they write stuff about you, you know, you people want to read stuff about you. Me. Ah, Kino Sofa told me, Kino Shereba told me. No mind me, I will mix English and Yoruba, but that's just my, that's my style. Do you understand? So, sometimes a lot of you want to hear what they say about me. So, most times, a lot of people want to use that name to train. You understand? And I realized something about us in Nigeria. Positivity does not change. They now are coming to me like to do, to me to be important as that. They not carry it to me. Let someone abuse me, or my baby. Or my baby, or my baby, or my baby, or my baby. You understand what I'm talking about? So, I do not let negativity get at me. I do not let negativity get at me. I just, I'm very focused. And another thing I do is I connect with my fans a lot. I, I want, you know, you see, so a lot of times when things happen to me, I don't put it out there. I'm doing well in my career. I'm doing well physically, financially, spiritually, I'm doing well. But let me say the financial aspect. You understand? I'm really doing well financially. But I do not put it out there. The reason why I do not put it out there is because I don't want you to, to see that financial aspect. I want you to see that hardworking woman. Do you understand? I don't want you to see the, the, the show off to me. I want you to see the hard work to me. You know, because you know, a lot of people, when I met her, I call her mommy. She's a um, Mrs. Bonner, she's a I call her mommy. You know, there are some people who don't really know them physically, but their names, and that they don't do great things. But you know, we are just there, and we go, she's dying, you understand what you to God be the glory. So I want you guys to look at me and see that I'm working for me. So like I've been able to maintain my body because most times I try as much as possible. It's not about my colleagues alone, it's not about my colleagues alone or celebrities alone. It's about my fans most times. I respect my fans a lot, I do not do with them. So even when a lot of people put me on that pages or stuff, you know, Excuse me, I have to beg you also congratulate me. Most times I try to reply as much as possible. So even when I don't reply one of you, if you want to complain, the other people will say, I will reply and you maybe she should not say it. You understand? Then I make sure I do a lot of meet and meet. I do a lot of meet and meet. Then I try to listen. I'm a very good listener. Mama, you don't know, but I'm a very good listener. I try to listen to people. You understand? You tell what? That's what I do for a living, darling. I talk for a living. You understand? So I do meet and meet. I get to meet people. I get to talk to people. You understand? And it's not about I don't I don't put my brand on on the level of oh let me just be here. No, I'm that grassroots actress. I want to I want to I want to know whatever everybody is going through. I want to be for the masses. I want to be for everybody. Do you understand? So it's been easy. So most times, and I tell people, another thing I do is I do not fight on social media. I'd rather keep quiet and just focus on my focus. Mr. Nikishi, Mumu Aniwani, Senna Kamasu, Nibuno Nikishi. Do you understand? So as I, like I tell people, it's not about 
you being popular or, or your brand is everywhere, blah, blah, blah. But if people do not appreciate you, your brand is what is nothing. So I've been able to work on my brand because most times I connect with my fans. I connect with 20 titans and hopes. I connect with you guys a lot. I listen to them a lot. I get a lot of DMs. Even if I don't listen to everybody, I listen to most of them. So I can say that is my that's my tool. That's my power. Because I connect with my fans. Thank you. Thank you very much. So greatest of the greatest of the greatest to you are today. Um, I want to say a big thank you to the organizers of this great jubilee, Northern Jubilee. And I want to say a big thank you to all my mommies and daddies and the people this morning, sit at the front and the ones that are still busy at the back. A big thank you to you. Please permit me once again to stand a lot of resisting protocols. And um, like my colleague earlier said, we'll be coming back again to talk about different departments of um, you know, growth in, in, let's say, in Nigeria in general, if we're committed. And permit me once again to let you know that, of course, I finished from this school. I, can, I, I just don't say finish. I graduated from this school. Because finish is different from graduation. <laughs> You can finish and don't get your results. <laughs> when you graduate, that means you are getting your results. Uh, so I graduated from this school. I'm still part of this system. I'm giving back to this system since they are the ones I gave to me. Um, I, I started stand up comedy from this same stage, the University of Lagos Main and Stone. And this was in 2004. Started acting from secondary school in culture and dance. And of course, taking us around um, uh, Federal Cultural Center Abuja. So now, stand up comedy is still my strength. And of course, very soon I'll come back and tell you how we started, how your classmates will submit assignment before you think it will make it in life before you. <laughs> before you, you need to still get that discipline. So we're going to be going straight into history later on and how we can help each other grow in different industries in Nigeria. The same for you, and gentlemen, and all my friends. Once again, I say a big thank you for this opportunity to be here this morning. Once again, I'm going to be here. I can tell you now, 
that I feel bad that I got dead in life. Oh, but don't worry, don't worry. For my last time I'm here, I'll come back here. Oh. You see what you're missing? Do you see anything like this here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that movie made over 150 million in the first month. I think that is amazing. And that is the reason why we're here today because he's going to clap. So um, um, that's why you give me a call to come here and be a part of uh, the creative um, panel to share my two cents on the industry and being a part of Hollywood. And the journey I said as, as, um, as a man in the industry, I said, I'll do it. It's such an honor to be standing here right next to Tony Abraham, Brian Moore, Doctor Henry Paul. Hey, why are you going to do that? Hey, when you're up to me, I'll give you like your big degree or something. You're going back to me, yeah? And of course, the legendary uh, Tony will give you a major role to land master of like Tinsel, like, I was part of Tinsel many years ago. It's an honor to be here, and every single person here can't wait to dive right into it. And uh, hope you guys have questions and answers for me. Let me just put a disclaimer right now. Nobody will ask me when I'm getting married. Thank you guys so much. 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 Thank you with the alumni executives and the management of the University of Lagos. Just a minute, please.